I want to share with you my updated workflow for creating vertical video in iMovie on your Mac. In this video, you'll learn the secret to creating a proper vertical editing project in iMovie, including two methods to set it up. How to edit landscape or horizontal footage in your vertical iMovie project. How to export your vertical video out of iMovie to get a clean 1080 by 1920 video. Plus, I'll show you the best way to get sharp, clean titles for your vertical video projects. If you've seen my earlier vertical video tutorial from a couple years ago, this is the newer, more accurate version. So stick with this one for the best results. Let's jump in. So here we are in iMovie. This is iMovie version 10.4.3 running on Mac OS Tahoe 26.1 for your reference. And I have a fresh iMovie project open. So the secret to creating a true vertical video editing project in iMovie is to go up to the top left of iMovie's interface and select the Projects button. Once inside the project browser, you go up to File and from the menu select New App Preview. Now as the pop-up message says, App Preview mode is intended for developers to create vertical videos in iMovie to showcase and promote their apps on the App Store. But we can use App Preview Mode to create vertical videos for any platform, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Reels. I'll hit OK, and a new App Preview project opens. But wait, that's not vertical, that's landscape. What gives? Well, to create a vertical video project in App Preview Mode, the first clip on the timeline must be a true vertical video clip, like a video shot on your phone in portrait orientation. Now, I just so happen to have such a vertical video clip shot on my iPhone, and I'll drag it from the finder and drop it into the media browser. And there it is. Now I'll drag it down onto the timeline, and you can see the viewer changed from landscape to vertical orientation. And to confirm this project is vertical, I'll go over and open up settings. And you can see the project is set to 1080 by 1920 vertical resolution. App preview mode maxes out at 1080p. So if you want to make 4K vertical videos in iMovie, you'll have to use the old rotate method, link below. All right, now that your project is set to vertical, you can edit vertical video clips from your phone using pretty much all of iMovie's editing features. But where editing vertical video in iMovie in app preview mode really shines is repurposing landscape or horizontal footage into a vertical video. I do this all the time, repurposing clips from my live streams into YouTube Shorts. And it's pretty simple. I'll start from scratch with a fresh app preview project. I'll add a vertical video clip as my first clip on the timeline. And that sets the project and timeline to vertical. Then I'll grab my landscape or horizontal clip and place it on the timeline after the vertical clip. And you can see the landscape clip has been scaled to fit into the vertical frame. I'll delete the vertical dummy setup clip from the timeline. And you can see the project is still vertical. But my landscape clip is off center. Not a problem. I'll just go up to the toolbar above the viewer and select the cropping tool. And you can see crop to fill is selected. I'll just click and drag on the cropping frame to center up the subject. Then hit the blue check mark to lock in my settings and the subject is centered in the vertical frame. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the landscape video is being scaled up to fit the vertical frame. So if you want slightly sharper results, film in 4K. But honestly, the live streams I've repurposed are 1080p. And the majority of vertical video is viewed on a relatively small phone screen anyway. And just like the vertical phone footage, you can use all of iMovie's fun editing features on your converted landscape footage, even Ken Burns. Now, if you want more in-depth info on editing landscape footage into vertical videos in iMovie, including how to handle camera movement, I have a tutorial on that, link below. 
But what if I don't have a vertical phone clip to set my project to vertical editing? Well, you can make what I call a dummy clip to set your project. It's essentially a blank vertical video clip you can create in Apple Keynote. I'll hit Command Z or Command Z to undo my phone clip and set the App Preview project back to landscape. All right, then I'll drag in a dummy vertical video clip I created in Keynote. And there it is. And I'll place it on the timeline to set the project to vertical. And you can see over here in settings that the project is 1080 by 1920 vertical resolution. I have a full tutorial on making dummy clips in Keynote. Link below. But I don't want that dummy clip in my final video. Not a problem. Place the first clip of video you're actually going to use in your project on the timeline after the dummy clip. Then just delete the dummy clip, and the project remains vertical. Now just remember, the first clip on the timeline needs to be a true portrait or vertical video clip, no matter what. So if you mess up and undo your project all the way back to it being landscape again, you'll need to add a true vertical video clip as the first clip on the timeline again. All right, what about titles? Well, App Preview Mode has its own limited set of titles, different from regular iMovie project titles. It also has its own set of basic backgrounds. Now keep in mind, App Preview Mode was meant for showcasing mobile apps for the App Store, not full-blown video productions. But the App Preview titles are usable. Some have animations. They're editable, so you can change the background color, modify and format fonts. You can even adjust the position of some of the titles. But if you want maximum control and flexibility, you want to be creating your titles in Apple Keynote and then bringing them into iMovie. I have an example of some animated text designed specifically for this vertical 9x16 frame created in Keynote with a transparent background that I will drag into my project and lay on top of my video. And there it is. Playback. I have a number of tutorials on creating text and graphics and Keynote for use in iMovie. Links below. And I'm working on a dedicated video just for designing vertical titles in Keynote specifically for iMovie vertical projects like this. If that's out by the time you're watching this video, I'll link it up here on screen and down below as well. All right, once you're done editing your vertical video in iMovie, it's time to export. To export a vertical video out of App Preview Mode, we go up to the top right of the iMovie interface and select the Share button. And from the menu, select App Preview, not Export File, App Preview. App Preview gives us a full 1080 by 1920 resolution, high quality vertical video. Then just save out your video and export. Here's what the exported vertical video looks like. And as you can see in QuickTime Player's Movie Inspector, this video is 1080 by 1920. Believe it or not, those are just the basics of editing vertical video in iMovie. You can actually create some pretty fun and useful effects. Now, if you're interested in knowing how to do that, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. I share all kinds of tips and techniques and hacks for making all kinds of videos in iMovie and Apple Keynote. And as always, if you found this video useful, give it a like. It really helps the channel. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.